Hey everyone, hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you the new budget shifters that have been redesigned and I'm going to compare them to a real one so you see what the differences are and what changes have been made. I wanted to redesign the budget shifters because they had some inherent problems that we used these toggle switches in them and like for example this was the range selector and this was the splitter we had problems with the plastic uh, the printed pieces like the splitter cover that made it look like a splitter uh, going onto the side of this this little knob here turned inside of the switch so it made it feel wobbly um, some of the wiring I mean don't get me wrong we didn't have a whole lot of problems with them um, it just was not as I thought I thought of a nicer way to do it so <laughs> um, yeah don't get me wrong the old ones uh, were not horrible so but I wanted to use also instead of switches I wanted to use the same system we use with our real shifters which is a sensor that picks up a magnet and uh, they work off of magnets. That way there's no mechanical, it's one less thing to fail. There's no mechanical switch to fail over time. Um, so I thought the easiest way to do that was to take, this is the inside of a real Eaton shifter, the valve body, and this is half of it. There's another half that goes over here, but um, I thought, okay, what if I just designed uh, and modeled? I had to make some, you know, changes because I make changes to these on the real ones to put the sensors in and everything. So I said, um, what if I just model it as close to the real one as I can, and you basically have a uh, 3D printed version of a real one? So this was the prototype, and you can see uh, pretty close uh, some changes are made to account for uh, the sensors and where they go and room for um, our magnet and all of that different stuff. Uh, there is a half inch by 13 uh, metal sleeve that goes down in here I can show you. Um, on an assembled core, which is this, this is the printed one. It has the half inch by 13 thread in the bottom just like the real one so it'll work with any of my shifter extensions uh, or anything like that, all my adapters has the same thread as the real ones have. And so on the assembled core, this does not have the splitter on top because to put the splitter on top, you have to have a top handle. And I wait until an order comes in to do that because people choose different tops and different colored skirts. and. Uh, all I really do is put the sensors in and wait for the order to come in, but you can see on the inside here how it accounts for the magnet and everything, and then there's another magnet in the splitter that works with the sensors, which are not in here yet. Um, but these are going to use the same harnesses. For example, here's a real Eaton shifter, basic, off my site. This is how these work. They have a five pin harness and they hook up to this that comes with your order. You have USB and on the other side you have the other end of the five pin harness. It just plugs into it. The reason I did that is there's a couple reasons. First, it uh, if something goes wrong with the board that runs this, then you can just, I can just get this replaced and it's nice and easy. Um, we have, believe it or not, a lot of reports of animals like cats or dogs chewing on these and ruining them. So it's nice just to say, okay, I'll just send you a new harness. Your shifter's fine. And also if you have multiple shifters like some guys do, all you got to do is unplug it, take the shift knob off throw the new one on, plug it into the same harness, and that's all you gotta do. Um, and also, when installing this onto a shifter extension or whatever it might be, you can rotate it on like this, only dealing with 
you know, an eight inch long wire instead of this eight foot long uh, thing that just makes it more complicated. But anyway, so the orders with the budget shifters, here's a budget shifter, the new style. Once again, has the same harness. So it will come with the shift knob in the way that you ordered it and the harness, and then it includes an adapter. Uh, once again, based on how you order on what it's going on, unless you order it with an extension. An extension acts, an extension is basically a long adapter. <laughs> so uh, if you get an extension with it, uh, that's that'll work as your adapter. If you order it with no extension, then uh, an adapter of your choice is included with your purchase. So that's what's included. So here's a good look at the budget shifter. And again, I use real Eaton shift knob handles on the top because when I make a custom style shifter that has all this chrome on it, I'm left over with this. And instead of throwing them away, this is what I decided to do with them. So you have a real Eaton top, uh, and I've made this as real as possible. Here's a little comparison. And now, as far as the clicking, I was very happy with it. It works off the same mechanism as a real one. There's springs and balls and stuff inside that create a detent system. That's where you get your clicking from. So this is a real one. Budget shifter. Uh, as far as uh, being able to hear it audibly, it's a little bit of a quieter click, but I can tell you based on the pressure I'm having to put into it, it's it's the same thing. It's exact. And as you can see, there's no, there's no wobbling. It's held in with the same design as the original. Same color, well, close to the same color, obviously, probably a different shade of gray, but. <laughs> um, and then as far as the range selector, again, it's the same. I modeled all this down to a tenth of a millimeter and um, works off the same mechanisms. And here's the clicking of a real one. And then here's the budget shifter. Very smooth, feels the same. You got put, I'm gonna guess about five pounds of pressure on it. Um, but again, it's, there's no difference. You can't, you, unless you have a measuring device, I don't notice any difference in the clicking. I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm really proud of these because uh, this took about 16 hours of modeling to get all of this correct. Um, and I'm real happy with how it turned out. Now, what else is good is even this little end piece on the end of the range selector is um, the same size as the real one. So what you can do is that enables us to put chrome covers on here and everything like we do uh, with the custom style shifters and different options and it allows you to put on the custom style tops and everything and some of you guys were probably questioning whether this is a real one or a budget shifter well this is a budget shifter and you know there's really no way to tell outside of me you know telling you but as you can see, we can use the chrome accessories on these and it accepts the chrome top and everything. Uh, this is, I'm confident in saying that this is the closest to real you're gonna get without actually buying a real Eaton. So I'm real happy with these. Um, and this is something that these new versions, this opens up 
uh, different world because you can now use, you know, real accessories and dress up kits on these just like you can the real ones. The only difference is they're about half the price. <clears throat> so, um, you're going to be able to upgrade to the custom style shifter. You can get different colored skirts that come from United Pacific. Uh, all the options will be on there when I post them and all the upgrade options will be on there. Um, these will also have an option for an easy Jake skirt. All of my easy Jake skirts are printed because Easy Jake has just gotten incredibly difficult to get skirts from and they only come in black. They got rid of the chrome. Um, so I just started printing them and there's been no issues with them. Um, I mean, obviously they're more decorative than anything else. Along with this, I went through and I got some pretty, pretty neat colors in that I can print these in. <clears throat> and as you can see, this one, Looks more blue on that side, um, and it fades to kind of a teal. Um, so it's like a color changing depending on what direction you're looking at it from. And I have a couple of these, um, and some other sparkle, like metallic looking uh, ones. So um, here's, a, here's a quick cutaway of uh, all the different colors we're gonna have. Now overall, when you buy it, the base price is going to be like this. The, it's gonna look like a stock Eaton shifter. And um, you're gonna have, as far as upgrade options, you can change to an Easy Jake with a button, an Easy Jake skirt with a button. You'll get to choose your color like you just saw. You can get a chrome cover for the range selector. You can get a chrome splitter. You can get different colored tops based on what I can get from vendors. Um, right now it's blue, red, wood grain, or chrome. You can uh, separate on the shifters and accessories page of the site. You can get the 18 speed medallion if you want uh, that shows the shift pattern. You can upgrade this completely to the custom style shifter in which you'll get You'll get it just like this, uh, except it'll depend on what color ball you choose and finish for the top, obviously. But this is how the custom style will come. You can swap out for a different colored skirt. Uh, they, you'll see all the options on the site for the different colored skirts that can go on these. Um, you can add on a side button onto these. As you've seen on my regular custom style shifters, that is for the, e the uh, Easy Jake. Unless you want to use it for something else, you can map it to anything you want. But you can get you can get this with the chrome button on the side, just like my real ones. Um, I did that because Easy Jake stopped making the chrome Easy Jake skirts, and um, so <clears throat> now if you really want to, I don't know how it would look. You could get one with. A, an easy jake skirt like this or in a different color and put it onto this with the custom top i have no idea what it would look like i've never seen one but <laughs> um my point being that you you can do almost you can do anything you want to these that you can the real ones so it opens up a whole new world for these uh they're gonna start they're gonna start at 109 dollars um the real ones on my side, as you see, start at 200. 
um, and that's just the price of buying the valve body and everything from Eaton. Um, so it cuts the price right there almost in half, and then your upgrade options will obviously depend on what you choose. And uh, I expect, because we have to get a lot of these harnesses made, and uh, along with the other side of the harness, we have to pre-make all these. I want these to be able to go out in a day or two of shipping. And um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping within the next, seven to ten days they'll be posted and I should have around 40 of them already made ready to go and um, I will have these as long as I have leftover tops after the tops are gone I have to put those out of stock until I have more leftover I can make more with now they will still be in stock for you know different style tops and stuff that I can just buy separately I cannot buy these separate so um, should be alright with the holidays coming up it's probably gonna it, the holidays get crazy for these kinds of things so um, uh, that being said if you have holiday orders or someone's gonna order something for you for the holidays let them know get your order in as early as possible once Black Friday hits it gets crazy I do my very best me and uh, me and my my teammates that uh, we do all this together on uh, we do our very best but we do we do about, uh, we do almost, I mean, we do 30% of our business for the entire year in December, or in, in uh, the last two weeks of November and December. So it gets very busy. Get your orders in um, as early as you can. Just to help spread it out a little. I'll be able to get everything out quicker. So anyway, um, I'll be posting when these are available. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, and uh, it's likely that they're, uh, they may have been released already, um, today is, I think, the, today's the 17th of October, so um, if they're out already, they're on the website under Shifters and Accessories. You'll see them under Budget Shifter, but that is the difference between these. Um, because everyone always asks, what's the difference between the budget shifters and the real shifters? Now, I can say, instead of saying, oh, the budget shifters use toggles instead of magnets, blah, blah, blah. All I have to say is, they're the same thing. One is 3D printed. One is real. And um, as you saw earlier, uh, the weight difference is uh, not, it's only, it's, it's only, what, 10, 15 grams. So, um, uh, holding them, holding them, uh, it, I, I would say that, I mean, you, you don't even notice it. Um, it's nothing noticeable holding them, so uh, the weight is even very close to the same. And people say, well, how is that? Uh, well, because one's printed and one is metal. Uh, first off, the metal used on the real ones is very lightweight metal. Um, it's aluminum and they have a lot of holes drilled out for airlines and different things that I didn't need that I kept uh, solid so while they use aluminum and mine is uh, mine is 3d printed they uh, there's a lot more infill on mine than on these and uh, but other than that the springs and balls and everything going are all metal and I've used one uh, for close to three weeks now, and I've used it, a lot of these, and used it as a fidget toy uh, when I'm working, or you know, even walk around my house just to get as many clicks in as I can. Um, and I've even, you know, quite a few times, like, been really, really hard on it um, to make sure that it's gonna be good. And uh, I've had zero problems with it. Um, again, I'm very, I'm very proud of these and happy, happy how these turned out. So I hope you guys like it. Um, these are under, uh, these are under the same warranty as the real ones. They're going to be under two-year warranty. And even if it's outside the warranty, anyone who's dealt with me knows I will always fix anything of mine. It's more of a matter of whether you pay the shipping and pay for the repair or not. Um, 
you know, that's the only difference. I'll always fix whatever, um, anything of mine. Um, it's very rare, I'll say that, but it does happen, obviously. They're electronics, and um, we have thousands of them out there. But anyway, I hope you guys really like it. I'm excited for these, and I will be posting when they're available on the site. It'll be very soon. We're just getting a big stock made up since we're coming up on the holiday season. So everyone have a good one. Thanks.